cruisers. Happy Friday night and welcome back to our third week of Vlogtoberfest. Hope all of you are doing well. In the chat, I would love to hear from you. Do you think that next week the CDC is going to extend the no sale order or are they just going to let it ride? What do you think? Extend or let it ride? Write it in the comment. We've got a lot at stake here at the end of October. Ahem. We'll see how things go, but thank you for sticking with us and keeping us entertained while we do our very best to keep you entertained during this crazy time. We've got so many great people in the chat tonight. As always, if you want to come a little early and hang out with us, it's really fun to interact. We, Mr. Chris Sips TV and I usually pop in after work and say hello. The Recon 1A is in from Chile, Dallas, Fort Worth, Metroplex. Good to see you, Recon 1A. Oh my goodness. I see. Who else do we have in the chat? We got Kevin JY and Gavin back again. They were strong contenders in Wednesday night's Name That Pool Deck race. And tonight we're playing a fun round of Name That Dining Venue. We were going to do food, but we decided that was just too easy and too vanilla. But we wanted instead to just play Name That Pool Deck. So, no, excuse me, Dining Venue. So what's going to happen here is that we're going to ask that you just name the ship. You don't have to name the dining room. That would be ridiculous if we were like, you know, the, I don't know, the, the what are the names of all these crazy dining rooms? You don't have to name the actual dining room itself. Just get the ship right. If it's like Carnival Panorama, say Carnival Panorama. Regardless of the dining venue, the first one will win. There are no prizes. You're just playing for fun and glory. And for us to all make fun of you as a winner for having the quickest fingers in the house. So what's everybody thinking? Let's see what everybody's thinking about. Let it ride or extend. Hi, Mama Dot, good to see you here. So good to always have you here. Allison said, I hope they don't extend, but unfortunately I think they might. Thank you, Angelique, for loving on my top. This is a free people, probably three years old, three seasons old. It's getting into sweater weather and I'm happy to bust out a few sweaters. Okay, Steve Roth said, I think the CDC is kicking the can down the road until after November 3rd. Okay, all right. Sonia thinks that we're going to extend. Michelle hopes they don't extend. Daryl also likes my shirt. Daryl, thank you. Vicky thinks they're going to extend it. Gavin hopes they don't. Cheryl thinks they're going to extend it. Wow, a lot of you guys think that they're going to extend the no-sale order. Well, we're hopefully going to find out next week. It expires on October 31st. Halloween, come on. Why do we have to have it expiring on a holiday? That's just no fair. We can't, can't mix business with pleasure, right? Hi, Angelique. Nice to see you here tonight. Hi, Denisha. Oh, my goodness. We've got a lot of people here. Hi, Darlene. Darlene, you might be surprised that you actually can guess some of these. Let's do this, guys. Let's start with our dining room Name that dining room game, I guess you could call it. I think this first one's gonna be pretty easy. We're gonna pull it up on the screen. Mr. Cruise Sips TV, let me know when it's up. So this is a grand looking dining room, isn't it? Beautiful, lots of gold accents. It's multi-story, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and say Mama Dot, you might actually be able to guess this one if you think really, really hard. Good evening, JP Travel Adventures. Let's see if anybody can guess what dining room. So all we want you to do is tell us what ship it's on. You do not need to tell us what the name of the dining room is, just the ship. John B, excellent guess, not quite, but very, very solid guess. Um, Daryl, good guess. Do we have a winner yet, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? Okay, uh, let's see here. So Charles said Symphony of the Seas, no. Okay, we better put that picture back up on the screen. Oh, actually you don't have to do that, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, because we have a, a winner, and we have a new winner in the house tonight. Tiffany Gore, you, my darling, are correct. It is indeed Liberty of the Seas, pre-renovation. So this was, oh, how many years ago do you think we were on Harmony of the Seas, honey? A lot of years ago, right? It's been a long time. Good job, Tiffany Gore, you nailed it. That wasn't easy. I think it, it definitely had the look of a Royal Caribbean ship, but um, that was not, it was not easy. Good guesses on all the other of the seas, guys. Freedom, Symphony, Allure, Oasis. Excellent job. 
Mr. Cruz Hips TV, I'm not having a, an eyelash malfunction, am I? Just making sure. Okay. Usually we check things, these things out before the, before the chat. Good job, Tiffany. Charles, you were close. Okay, let's go with the next dining room. This is an interesting one. We tried to make it so that in some of these photos, it's not just the dining room, right? So there's something going on in it. Uh, did I get it there? It does look okay. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm obviously standing in this photo. Do we have that photo up yet, Mr. Crucibs TV? Okay, so what's going on here? What do you think? Do those windows give it away? I see a high chair in the background and I will tell you that is not our high chair. Look at those cushy chairs, beautiful setup, very classy, nice booths. What ship do you think I am standing on? I can tell you that I was um, doing a little vlog segment or actually I was doing a dedicated video about dining on this particular ship. So maybe you guys can get it. Oh, I think we've got winners all over the place. I just had to find out who the first one was that got it. I think it was Daniel Cox. Did you see who it was, honey? Let's see. Okay. Yes. Daniel Cox, you are right. It is MSC Maravilla, Maravilla. John Carey, John B, Tanya, you are all right there with Daniel. In fact, y'all might have topped it, typed it at the same time. Daniel, yes. Good job again. You nailed it. It is MSC Maravilla, but it's not only Maravilla, it's the Yacht Club on MSC Maravilla. So bonus points to anybody who might have known that it was the Yacht Club on Maravilla. Yeah, it wasn't Junior's high chair um, tonight. He is a much bigger boy when we went on that cruise. No high chair, so he won't, even, he won't even tolerate a booster seat when he was like six. He's like, I'm fine, and he would just sit on his knees. So that was an interesting one. Okay, I'm really curious to see who's gonna get this next one. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, let's go. Let's see how fast, they're quick tonight, huh? Let's see how fast you guys can get this one. I always talk about, um, this particular area of this restaurant, there's an, there's an area of this restaurant or a spot in this restaurant that I really like and I talk about it a lot. So maybe that will give you a little hint. Daryl said, ooh, Yacht Club, fancy. You know what the great thing about it is, Daryl, is that it's super affordable. If you price out the Yacht Club, it is totally achievable. And so I would recommend that you, that you definitely look into it. Okay, do we have any winners yet? Let's see, you guys are, you're doing well. I can tell you you're doing really well. We've got some good guesses. Let's see here. Ooh, we have a winner. Gavin, you got it. It is Norwegian Jules Moderno, the, um, the Brazilian steakhouse. Steve Roth, you were so right on it because Steve said Moderno on the star but it's not the star, it's the jewel. And Gavin is exactly right. They're such similar ships though. But yeah, that's Moderno. And what you guys were looking at is like the salad bar. Because we always talk about how much we love the salad bar on Norwegian ships. And Norwegian Jewel had a really great one. It was a good, it's a good little venue. Shannon said, we love Moderno. I love it. Oh my goodness sakes, we have Shailene and Kurt in the house, and I would like to personally congratulate and raise a little apple cider to the new mommy and daddy in the house. Um, Shailene gave birth to a beautiful baby girl just, gosh, has it been a day, two days ago? I am so incredibly touched and honored that you guys are here. Congratulations on your beautiful new baby girl. I'm not sure if you're announcing her name. I know her name, but I'm not going to say it out loud. But I, I haven't seen her photo yet, but I'm going to stalk your Instagram until you post a photo. I know that you are waiting for your son to see her picture first, but I'm gonna be first in line. I love you guys, it's so good to see you here. And congratulations to the new mommy and daddy in the house. So excited for you guys, oh my gosh! <laughs> Yay, new babies! Oh, can you tell I haven't seen a new baby in way too long? Ooh, love it. Love them and wanna squish them. Love them and want to squish them. Okay, well good job on that one, you guys. You guys are really fast. I, I, every time we're prepping for this, Mr. Crucibs TV and I, we go back and forth about it. We have our little banter and I'm like, they're never gonna get that. And he's like, they will, they're smart, they're gonna get it. I'm like, no, that's weird. You're just showing like a post in the corner and they're never gonna get it. And he's like, no, they're gonna know. Someone's gonna know. And we have, <laughs> we have this like intense back and forth. It's really, really funny. So anyway, yes, thank you for joining me and congratulating Shailene and Kurt and their beautiful son as well. 
That's really sweet of you guys. Aw, oh, I love it. I love it. Angelique said, seeing all these trivia games makes me realize how many ships need to go on. Open, cruising already. I know, Angelique, we're going to get there, Angelique. We're going to get there. We're going to get there, and at some point in our lives, we're going to look back on this, and we're going to go, God, that was, that was a weird year, but we got through it, and cruising came back stronger than ever. Right? Optimist. We can do this, guys. We can get through it. I know we can. I know we can. And we're all going to appreciate cruising so much more. It's going to be amazing when it happens. All right. I think it's time to bring up our next dining room. Mr. Cruise TV, wait for a moment because I have to find it here. Oh, okay. Here it is. All right. I'm ready for it, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Let's see. Where am I? This is looks like maybe a screen grab from a vlog, so you guys might be able to recognize this one. I think we'll probably get a pretty quick winner on this one. John said, let Junior get a puppy and let the dog protect your garden from the gophers. Oh, John, you know I bought a gopher trap this morning at 7 a.m., right? Oh, those things are driving us crazy. They're eating all my veggies. They're eating all my veggies. Okay, we have a winner. Yes, indeed. Boy, that was fast. Mike and Cheryl, I think it's Mike on the keyboard, nailed it. It is indeed Caribbean Princess. I was walking into the dining room on Caribbean Princess. I think the name of that dining room is the Coral Dining Room. And I think we were just going in to be seated for dinner after a nice long day in um, Port, probably Limon, Costa Rica or something like that. Good job, Mike and Cheryl. You guys were so incredibly fast. That was really good. Really good job. Um, a lot of royal princess guesses. The, the, you know, I mean, the, the dining rooms on princess, they all kind of look the same. In fact, a lot of princess ships all look the same. I'd say royal princess, sky princess, very modern ships compared to the older Caribbean star, diamond, sapphire, right? So did you guys hear the news this week that Star and Grand are going to Australia to become part of the P&O family? They're going to be explorer and adventurer, honey? They're gonna become P&O, explorer, and is it explorer? Encounter, Pacific Encounter and Pacific Adventurer. So join me in a moment of silence our beautiful uh, star princess and golden princess, old beauties, covered pools, amazing staff, glorious food. We love the old rickety ships, right? Especially princess, they have so much charm, but I'm so glad they're keeping them in the Carnival Corporation family. Very, very exciting. Uh -huh. Mom said, find someone with a used cat litter and put, the, put it in the gopher hole. Ooh, that's gross, Mom. I didn't know you could do that. That's a great hack. We'll have to try that. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, now this is the one I think is a stumper. And Mr. Cruise Tips TV is like, no, this is a defining feature of the restaurant. So Mr. Cruise Tips TV, put it on the screen. What are we looking at, guys? You don't have to name the restaurant. You just have to get the name of the ship. If you can, give me the cruise line too, like Caribbean Princess or, you know, Norwegian Star or whatever it is. Give me the whole name. What are we looking at here? We're obviously looking at it from kind of outside the dining room-ish, I think. Any guesses? Isabel, the oldest ship you've been on is Crown. Yeah, I mean, the other ones are pretty similar, honestly, in design. They really aren't that different except for the covered pools and maybe some little things. Okay, let's see if we've got it. I do believe, well, Shannon got it. Okay, Shannon Roth, you got it, girl! Shannon knows because she's been on that ship. Excellent job. It is indeed Norwegian Bliss, guys. And it is called, this restaurant particularly, in particular is called the Ocean Blue Restaurant. It's a really yummy seafood restaurant. And Junior and I got to eat there on the inaugural sailing, the two night sailing that we went on. And we got to meet this wonderful family that had a little baby. And one of them is a journalist and the other one is a photographer. And they are so sweet and we've stayed in touch with them ever since. We got to sit with them and have dinner at a nice little cozy booth and it was wonderful. So good job, Shannon. That was not easy. I don't think that was easy. How did you get that, Shannon? How did you know? I think John B. got it too. Like, it was right there with it. Um, it's a, Allison was close too. 
it's um to me I didn't have any idea what it was when when Mr. Cruz TV pulled that up I was like what are you looking at what is that place because I'm thinking of what it would look like from the inside not from the outside looking through the post I know Isabel I miss that sway too Daryl it did look like an older ship and it's funny because the restaurant's actually really modern but that particular angle maybe it was like the wood posts or something I don't know I know. Okay. Let's bring up the next one. Mr. Cruz Tips TV. This is my favorite picture, I think, from the whole entire Name That Dining Venue because this is why I miss cruising. This is the absolute epitome uh, of why I can't wait to get back out at sea, and that is the beautiful staff and crew. So what ship are we on here, guys? This gal was so sweet. I think she was a hostess at the dining room and she always was so sweet to us, gave us nice tables and just went out of her way to treat everyone with respect. You could just tell she was really going the extra mile. Let's see if we have a winner yet on this one. Oh, you guys are fast. Okay, I'm looking for my winner and we have a winner already? That was impressive, Daniel Cox. You are correct, Daniel. That is Carnival Splendor. Good job. And Shannon Roth, who took it even a step further, said it's the gold pearl on the Splendor. I don't even know what dining room it is, Shannon, but that sounds about right to me. Shailene and Kurt, they know it's the Splendor. That's a ship that they've experienced. So yeah, sure is. Good old Carnival Splendor, giving the hostess a hug. Best thing ever about cruising. I love it so much. All right, let's put up the next one. I, again, I feel like this is gonna stump you guys, but I just don't, I, I, we need to give you more challenges apparently because you're gonna, you're gonna get it. So what are we looking at here? This one to me looks like your quintessential kind of like dining room shot. You got pretty windows, a variety of different sizes of tables, very main dining room looking-ish, but what ship is it from? Let's see if we can get this one. I miss hugging to Kathy. I have like this weird method of hugging people from the side with a mask on and I hate it. I'm over it. It's like ridiculous, but we'll get there, my friend. Huggers of the world will unite. Okay, let's see if anybody's got it yet. I think we have a winner. We do. Mr. Cruz Tips TV, join me in congratulating Sarah Baker, right? Sarah, you are correct. That is MSC Meraviglia. Panorama dining room. You nailed it, Sarah. Good work. Awesome, awesome job. That was not easy. I don't know how you got that. You have, I mean, you have to have been on these ships. Maybe that's how you got that one, but I am super impressed. John, are you telling me how you recognize that? John said, the reason I recognize the pillars is I would sneak out at night and sit there to do work on my computer when Brenda was asleep. She would be mad when I was teaching on vacation. Aw, John, oh my gosh. That's really sweet. But I know how you are. You care about your students. You're always, always looking after their best interests. That's a good story. Awesome job, wow. MSC Maravie, if you can get that, we, we can't stump you guys. We just can't. Okay, bring up the next one, Mr. Cruz's TV. Here's a fun one. You guys are gonna get this one fast. This is an action shot. Little Junior tearing up the dance floor, nerdy mommy trying to do my best to be cool with one of the servers who's clearly far more cool than I am, as you can see. Kind of a distinctive ceiling, bit of ceiling art in this one. What do we think we're looking at, guys? Did you already get it? Did somebody already get it, Mr. Cruz Tips TV? Oh, I'm sure they did. Yep, we have a winner. Daniel Cox wins it again. Good job, Daniel. It is indeed Carnival Miracle. Gavin, you are right too. Shoshana, you are right. You guys probably all typed it in at the same time. That was a really fun cruise. That was by far the loudest dining room I have ever experienced on a cruise. I don't know what it was about that dining room. And we liked it. It's a Carnival cruise. You expect it to be kind of loud, but man, was it wild. It was always like there was always something going on and people were talking and coming and going. It was, it was just really, it, it was, it, it's burned into my memory. Let's just put it that way. But it wasn't a bad thing. We were never like, oh, it's too loud in here. We were just always like, wow, you guys are like partiers. 
<laughs> Daryl said, nerdy mommy, hardly. Daryl, I feel like it. I really feel like I'm getting more nerdy and old every day. It feels that way. Wanda said, carnival something, carnival dream. That's the way to play it, man. Wanda, you just got to get out there and try, guys. You got to guess. You got to guess. The Bacchus dining room. Shoshana, I think you're right. Is it the Bacchus, honey? Very nice, Shoshana. Very nice. It is indeed the Bacchus. Excellent. All right, I think our 105 people in the chat are ready for their next image. But before we do, guys, can you give us a quick thumbs up while you're here? Pop thumbs up on this video, just help us out. It really is enormously helpful and I appreciate it so very, very much. All right, next picture that we are looking at right now. Oh, I like this one. I think you guys are gonna get this. <sighs> Sorry for the yawn, guys, it's been a long week. Um, yeah, what are we looking at? I'm not gonna give you a single hint on this one. If you can't figure it out by those ceiling lights, I can't help you. What do we have? Mr. Cruz Tips TV, are they, did they already, did someone already get it? I love how Mike and Cheryl always just guess Grand Princess. Daryl, thank you for already giving us a thumbs up. I know you already did that. You're so good. Thank you. Charles, a few beers later, you're welcome. Come on in. Charles, since you've had a few beers, guess what dining room this is. Just type something in the chat. We want to hear from you. Oh, you guys, interesting guesses. Very interesting, and I believe, Mr. Cruz Tips TV, do we have a winner? We do, don't we? Sonia. Sonia H, got it. It is Carnival Imagination. Rest in peace. We will miss her. Good memories on these little ships. But yeah, that's right. Sonia, good job. Indeed, Carnival Imagination. You guys are killing it tonight. I think that that dining room is called the spirit dining room. Okay, ready for the next one, pal? Put it on the screen. I like this one. I think you guys can get this one based on the environment. It's a pretty distinct restaurant. I want you to tell me what ship we're in. If you can guess the venue and the ship first, you're definitely gonna be getting bonus points tonight. But where are we? You gotta get the ship correct. Um, and if you get the venue, Bonus points. I know, Daryl, RIP imagination. I would leave this one up on the screen for a minute because I think it's kind of tricky. Mike and Cheryl both saying diamond princess. You guys are so funny with your princess guesses. Keep guessing, you guys, you're doing well. Nobody's got it yet. Oh, we have a winner. Sarah Baker won. She got it, guys. It is it is Harmony of the Seas, Jamie's Italian, and Sarah, that is so impressive that you got both the ship and the restaurant in one. Our server was so sweet. She was literally explaining everything on the menu to me. And she's like, I'm just gonna bring you this and this and this for appetizers and you're gonna like it. And I'm like, yes, I am. So if you haven't been to Jamie's Italian on um, Royal Caribbean, it's a really special restaurant. Um, what they do, you guys, that's so cool, is when they bring out your appetizers, especially if you order like the meat plank or the antipasti plank, they take two large cans of tomato. So imagine a can of cento tomatoes, like pureed, right? Big old can of tomato, they put one here and one here. They place a plank across the top of it with your food on it. So your food is kind of elevated and it's this like rustic Italian kind of fun environment. It's noisy, it's chaotic, and it, it's a great place to go with friends. Um, the food is delicious. You must go on an empty stomach because they bring you just a little bit of this and a little bit of that because it's a, you know, it's an upcharge restaurant, but boy, I love it. And I, someday I'm going to copy that idea of getting a couple big cans of fancy looking stewed tomatoes and putting like a charcuterie board or an antipasti platter on top of it. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, Shannon said, hey, I've had a few beers and I can still follow instructions. <laughs> Shannon, you're so funny. Lynette Nana said, giving you a thumbs up is all I can do because I don't know any of these dining rooms. Lynette, that is beautiful. We're so happy to have you here. You don't have to know any of these dining rooms, to be honest with you. I don't really know that I know them either. We're just here to have fun and support one another and pass the time until cruising returns and hang out with good friends. So Lynette, thank you, you're a sweetie and we are absolutely okay with it. Daryl said, I was there and I didn't even recognize it. Yeah, so good. <laughs> John Beretti said, part of me would think about jacking the can of tomato puree. I know, that's thinking like a chef, 
thinking like a true chef. And that's the good stuff too. It's like the high quality tomato puree. So good. Yes, Jamie's is amazing, Daryl. It is lovely, good food. Ah, so good. Araceli Perez Henchies from Puerto Rico is here for her first live stream. Please join me, everyone, in welcoming Araceli. Araceli, we hope you come back and that this is not your last live stream because we do have a lot of fun here. We're very nice. I promise nobody bites and we're just so pleased to have you here. And yes, John, this is a no judgment zone and you paid a good money for that cruise. You can have that dang old can of tomato sauce if you want it. <laughs> Joe Trapani said, that's Jamie Oliver's Harmony the Seas. I've been there. Yes, indeed, sir. It is, and it's wonderful, isn't it? All right. So what ship do you guys think is coming next? Mr. Cruise Tips TV, this is gonna be a no brainer. They're gonna get this one instantly, right? Okay, first, tell me the ship, guys, and if you can, tell me the venue. I pretty much want the ship and the venue on this one, if you possibly can. This is gonna take you 10 seconds. Let's do it. And thank you all so much for welcoming our new friend who is here tonight. And thank you, Jim Ring, for encouraging our friend Araceli to subscribe. Okay, guys. What are we looking at? What restaurant is this? I want the, I want the ship and the venue if we can. Okay, yep. Everybody who answered either Harmony of the Seas or Wonderland, you're correct. So Gavin, Vicky, and, and Gavin, because Gavin, he put his answer on two lines. Gavin, Vicky, and Gavin, you won. It is Harmony of the Seas, the Wonderland restaurant. Um, Okay, what was funny about that picture though is we weren't actually having dinner there. We were there for a special event. We were doing cupcake decorating and it was really fun. Junior was um, really enjoying that. What were you gonna say? I think Charles Turner actually won that one first. Oh no, did I? He said, that is a nice restaurant. That is correct, isn't it? Yeah. All right, Charles. Well, give that one to Charles. Sorry, Charles, you're right, it is a nice restaurant. He's cracking up. <laughs> It's great. Wonderland, you guys, I'm telling you, it's great. It is, it might seem like it's gimmicky and you might be thinking, oh, you know, do I want to do that Alice in Wonderland thing? Is it just weird? It's so fun. The food is not too odd. I always recommend anytime I'm talking to people about Royal Caribbean, go there, make a reservation and maybe even do it on night one. We did it on the first night of our Harmony of the Seas cruise. I love doing specialty dining on the first night. It's not always a good idea if you're too tired, if you're feeling like dirty and you didn't get a shower and you're just like, ugh, I'm just not in that place. Maybe not, but it is so fun. They also cater very well to children. If you're traveling with kids, do not be afraid to take your children to Wonderland. It is absolutely appropriate. It's also a wonderful place for a quiet date night if you want it to be that, but know that it is not necessarily designed to just be an adults only venue. It is whimsical, it is fun, the food is tasty too. It's not all just steam and weird effects. It's, it's really good, very nice. Wonderland, I wunderbar. Yes, Mike and Cheryl. <laughs> Isabel said, I wanna go on the High Tides Bar. Isabel, I can totally see you on the High Tides Bar. You are meant for the High Tides Bar. It is so cute. I love how it goes up and down. You can actually get off in the different neighborhoods too. It's like, okay, I'm here. Let's go explore this area. Now we're back down here on the promenade. Let's go for a walk. Um, every time I think about the High Tides Bar though, I think about how we were having a live stream, Isabel. And we were literally live streaming from the ship in the High Tides Bar and I knocked a drink over into my child's lap. And we had to stop the live stream because I was so upset that I had done it and we had to restart it. I broke the glass too. And it was glass glass. So I was worried about my son. I was worried that I got in glass on him. He was, of course he was fine. But you know how you just kind of have guilt. Aw, Chef John says, Evan says goodnight, Sherry. Ian passed out an hour ago on the floor, face down into his Legos. That's not a very good pillow. Ouch. Well, hello, Evan. It's good to see you, buddy. How late is it for you guys? Eight? It's eight, right? You're two hours ahead of us, I think, here on the West Coast, right? Yeah. I think I don't think you're Eastern time. You're Mountain time. No, Central time. Central time. Yeah. Anyway, hi, Evan. <laughs> That's really cute. Will you tell Ian I said hi tomorrow? 
You remember that live stream, John? I was so upset. Yes, JP Travel Adventures, that robotic bar is super fun too. And the cool thing about the robotic bar is when you embark on Harmony of the Seas, it's literally the first thing you see. So when you walk in, they embark you onto the promenade deck and it's right there. And so go get your drink, especially if you have the drink package, which as we know, I did. And I was a, a little bit of a wild woman on that cruise, as wild as I get, which is grandma style wild. Um, but it's really, really fun. Yeah, Carrie, mom guilt. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, you are Eastern time. Evan is your youngest. Yes, I know. I know, John. I'm sorry I do. I get their ages confused. I'm so sorry. So we're going to say little guy and big guy are just going <laughs> to not worry about that. Okay, let's go ahead and guess the next dining room here. Mr. Christmas TV, pull this one up. I feel like this one is kind of no fair. Um, because this is hard. I don't think there's anything in this particular um, picture that tells you what ship we're on. You can tell what kind of a venue we're in, but what kind of ship? I mean, obviously, you can see what kind of a restaurant it is. But what ship is it? Shannon said, I'd love to see drunk Sherry sometimes. It's a very rare occurrence, Shannon. Um, I don't like that feeling, and I don't like for that to happen. But I will give you a little hint and tell you that on the ship that you're looking at right now, I actually started the first day off a little too ambitiously. We had um, lunch in a special venue on this ship that you're looking at right now, and I had a straight up martini at lunch. And I was like, I hadn't been drinking for a while. And Mr. Chris Tips TV is like, okay, you can't vlog right now. That's not possible. We need to hydrate you and start over again. I hate it. I don't. I don't like feeling that way. So, you know, I like to stretch it out. Okay, I think we do have some winners here. I wanna go up and make sure, cause I know that a lot of you guys started guessing and I wasn't paying attention, so I'm gonna find the winner. Mr. Chris Hips TV, is it John Carey? What? Well, we had a few teppanyaki guesses. Yeah, but they didn't say what ship it's on. You okay. can't say teppanyaki okay. because it, 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 we told them we wanted the name of the ship. Anyone knows that's a teppanyaki restaurant by looking at it, right? Okay. So John Carey, congratulations. Yes, indeed, that is MSC Seaside. And it is a teppanyaki-style restaurant on MSC Seaside. So those of you who said teppanyaki, yes, of course. Absolutely good job. Very, very true. <laughs> John B. said, I've seen a little buzz Sherry, and she is hilarious. You probably have, because what have we been doing for the last seven months? Hey, I didn't tell you guys about my cocktail live. I told everyone in the pre-chat what I made tonight. John, you will like this one. It's kind of like the one I texted you the other day. Okay, so guys, I got some spiced apple cider at Trader Joe's. So it's the kind that it just comes in a big plastic jug. You could heat it if you want. You could serve it cold. So spiced apple cider in a cocktail shaker with gin and whiskey and lemon juice and ice and I shook it up and put it over ice again and it's really good. I haven't really been drinking it, but it's nice. So don't be afraid to mix spiced apple cider into your cocktails. Next Wednesday, in fact, we're doing a fun apple cider um, margarita, so tequila in it. Hi, Mary Ellen, I'm sorry that you didn't get your notification. I try to post it all over Facebook and YouTube and everything because I know that happens. Yes, Joyce, what happens on the ship stays on the ship. So true, you guys are so funny. <laughs> oh, Carrie, Carrie said alcohol ambition. Oh, I have, a, I have a very serious case of alcohol ambition. I'm one of those people that thinks I'm smarter when I've had a few where I'm like, I've got this great idea. And you know, my husband's like, oh, do you? <laughs> but doesn't everybody do that? You think you're sounding so good? John, um, yes, the whiskey for rum would be good and vanilla vodka with gin and the cider. Because don't you think, like, you're a chef, you tell me, the vanilla and the apple cider would play nice together because you've got the spices in there. Anyway, Melissa said, Sherry, are you chilling in PJ pants? LOL. No, Melissa, tonight I'm actually wearing shorts. I hate shorts. But it's, you know, it, it's still not super cool here. And the house gets a little hot 
in the afternoons just because of the direction of the sun. So I'm wearing shorts. I'm trying not to torture my husband with wearing pajamas all the time because I, he's been seeing me every day in pajamas for seven months and he's probably like, could we switch that out? Could we not wear pajamas with our business outfit on the top? Like I'll have pearls and a blazer and old navy Christmas pajamas on the bottom. It's pathetic. Oh, it doesn't matter what you wear. I'm gonna love you no matter what, you know it. And you're gonna tease me too though. He still does tease me. He's like, like your jammies. <laughs> In the sweetest way possible. Okay, Shoshana Higgins says, Sherry, what's your gin preference? Um, I am a Bombay Sapphire girl, but I'd love to try that Italian gin that you tried. Um, Mary Ellen Dillon said, what is your favorite vodka? Okay. Stoli vanilla vodka is unreal. And I don't like vanilla flavored things. I find them to taste kind of fake. And this, I, oh, I love it. I got it for the, um, what did we make the first week? The pumpkin spice martini. It called for, um, Irish cream, pumpkin spice, Irish cream and vanilla vodka. And I was like, oh, I want to buy vanilla vodka. Never going to drink it. And I've really loved having it on my little bar cart. It's high quality stuff. Um, Smirnoff is also making vodkas with essences in them, like cucumber essences and um, a grapefruit one that are absolutely lovely. Joyce, I would love to try some Irish gin. Carrie said to, that I was blushing. I probably was. He still makes me blush. He really, really does. And for those of you who listen to the podcast, you know that he makes me blush. We have a new friend in the house. John Michael said, hello. I'm new and I'm from Japan. I love the video you did about the cruise ship. Question, did the staff on the ship that you took from Japan speak English? John Michael or John Michelle, however you pronounce your name, I apologize. Yes, they did. They are primarily English speaking. However, the ship caters to both Japanese and Chinese and English speaking tourists. In fact, they have two cruise directors. They have an English speaking cruise director and they have a Japanese speaking cruise director who also spoke Chinese. So it's basically a trilingual ship with English being the primary language. There are a lot of Japanese nationals on the ship. You're talking about Diamond Princess. Um, but also a lot of people from all over the world, from Australia, from the UK, from the United States, a lot of people from Malaysia also visiting um, that ship and cruising on that ship. Absolutely wonderful experience, but yes, they do speak English and Japanese and Chinese. And everything, um, I can't say everything is said in three languages, but usually everything is said in two. So for sure it's said in English and Japanese, usually it was said also in Chinese. So hopefully that answers your question and welcome to our channel. It is absolutely wonderful to have you here and we cannot wait to visit Japan again. So thank you. Katie's Many Adventures said, bringing the podcast vibes to the live stream. Yes, that's my husband's flirtatiousness coming in from the, uh, from the, the, um, the podcast. What? Troublemaker? You're bad. You are bad. Okay. Jim Ring, you are such a sweetheart. Always getting people to subscribe and like. Thank you so much. Okay. I think we need to go to our next photo because I've lost focus. This is, this is my second favorite photo of the night. I think my first fo favorite photo was the dancing one. This is my second favorite. You ready, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? Okay. So you guys, look at my sweet little boy in this picture. He was so tiny. And he has a milk mustache. So Evan, since you're still awake, look at my baby boy's milk mustache. He was so cute that night. Um, and I guess we're all supposed to be guessing what ship we're on here, right? Don't have to tell me the name of the dining room, but you do have to tell me the name of the ship. So tell me the cruise line and the name of the ship. You could leave this one up a little bit longer so I can stare at it because he is so darn cute in this one. He had chubby cheeks still, Daddy. Oh, I miss those chubby cheeks. Okay, let's see if anybody's got it. Let's see. I'm going slowly so I don't miss anybody. Mike and Cheryl, interesting guess. Carrie, thank you. Karen and Gord, thank you. He is a cute little boy. He doesn't look like this anymore. He doesn't have chubby cheeks anymore. He's growing to be a big boy. 
Okay, I don't think anybody has gotten the answers just yet, but we're getting really close, guys. Vicky, you would have loved to have squeezed him. The good thing is he's still squeezable and he still loves his mama and I still get lots of snuggles. Good boy, he's a very good boy. Okay, no one's got the answer yet though, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Do we have to put it back up? This is a stumper, but, um, oh, oh, look who snuck into the chat. Quaxon, you sneaky devil. Quaxon got it and Quaxon's like quietly answering the question right without having said anything else beforehand. Right, Quaxon, I haven't seen you here yet. It's correct, guys, it's carnival spirit. Talk about a blast from the past. Yes, Junior's milk mustache picture. Carnival Spirit, Quaxon, you nailed it. Good one. Sonia, yes. Scott said the lad looks like his pop. He does. In fact, the lad looks like his pop's pop. And when he was a baby, he had that cute little round face, and he actually looked like Mr. Cruz Tips TV's daddy did. Very sweet. Um, but he's changing, and he now he's kind of a combination of both of us, I think. He's kind of more blonde, um, but his daddy was blonde when he was younger too, and so was I. I'm not really naturally blonde. You guys all know that by now. Isabel said, LOL, I was way off. Great work on that one, you guys. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I feel like I'm stretching it out a little bit too much tonight. We only have two more. I love this picture so much. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, put up the chef hats. What on earth is going on in this picture and why is everybody wearing a chef's hat? I know somebody's gonna get this. This is a very distinct venue and I better be careful what I say or else I'm accidentally going to give this one away. Um, I can tell you guys we did not vlog this cruise. I will say that, but this was a fun event. No, Linda, I am not blonde anymore. If you look deeply at those roots, you can see that they are brown now. But I was born blonde and I was blonde for quite a while. I was blonde until seventh grade and then it kind of turned brown. And that's what's um, happening with Mr. Um, Mr. Junior. Mike and Cheryl said all the members attending the group cruise. Yes, this looks, this looks a lot like what it would look like, doesn't it, Mike and Cheryl? So true. Okay, keep, the, keep them coming, guys. Nobody has got it correct yet. Remember, we didn't vlog it. Look closely at this picture and tell me exactly which ship it is. I'm not gonna give it to anybody who just gets the line. You have to get the ship. But did you look closely at the, um, the picture? Linda said my roots are all gray. I've got some grays coming in too, Linda. Hopefully not more after this whole pandemic thing. Monica, interesting that you would say you thought it was crowded because this is actually one of the least crowded dining rooms I think I've ever been in. Because there was something going on in there, it might have looked crowded, but it wasn't. Wow, you guys are stumped. Keep trying, guys. Nobody has it yet. Lander Berry said, really enjoy the podcast and first time watching live. I've had a rough month and I get so excited when Wednesdays roll around. All the nurses in the hospital know Wednesday is cruise podcast day. Thank you, Lander Berry. That gives us as much joy and comfort and peace and happiness as it does you. And thank you so very, very, very much. You're a sweetheart and thank you. Keep listening. We gotcha. Do we have it yet? You guys, I just want to tell you, you're really close. There's a lot of you that are really close, but you got to tell me the ship. Somebody's going to get it. I know you're really close, guys. Keep trying. Keep trying. Okay, we do have a winner. Gavin Primus nailed it. MS Mazdom. RIP MS Mazdom. Well, kind of. She's not really resting in peace. She's resting as a new member. Isn't she? Didn't Mazdom head over to Fred Olson line, guys? I think I think Mazdom is now like the Boudica or something for <laughs> for um, Fred Olson Cruise Line. But yes, it is the Mazdom. Probably should have given you guys more of a story while you saw the picture up to give you more, but I thought it was gonna be easy and I thought you were gonna get it, but it was our Canada New England cruise in 2006. It is that old. They were having some chef special night. I was trying to get you guys to know it was Holland America because you could kind of see the vibe in the dining room. It was a little bit of an older crowd. 
right? One of the best cruises of our lives. Accidental, we got an accidental fare on a suite. So we had a suite we paid a balcony price for. And it was Canada, New England. It was absolutely gorgeous, so it was wonderful. Monica Depoy, welcome. I'm glad you caught us live. Hi, Andrew Cabate. Okay, Mr. Cruise Sips TV. They got the damn ship finally right. Let's pull up the last picture of the night. Speaking of what color my hair really is, this is a little closer to my natural color. So what ship are we on? Make sure you, you say the, the name of the cruise line and the the... The actual ship. This is an oldie but goodie. But some of you have probably seen a few photos where I kind of look like this and you might be able to figure it out. How are they doing? Do we have any guesses yet? Thank you, Steve. I don't know about my weird um, friend's haircut. I was pulling a little Jennifer Aniston here. So I'm not sure how I feel about this look. We're getting, we've got some close guesses. And John Carey. You got it, buddy. John, you came in for the win, and it is indeed Diamond Princess. In fact, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, was this our first cruise together? No, not this one, but it was close, huh? Second, it was our second cruise together. So this is an old one, guys. Good job, John. Yeah, Diamond Princess. Back when Diamond Princess was cruising the Mexican Riviera Alaska run, Diamond and Sapphire were kind of doing the West Coast. And um, it was a great cruise. Got all dressed up all the time. Such a traditional fun time, pre-junior. It was great. Daryl said there's nothing wrong with the Jennifer Aniston look. Well, thank you very much, Daryl. Oh, you like the lipstick. I definitely had kind of like a 90s look going on, even though it wasn't the 90s. So that's a little scary. Quaxon said that MS Mazdam actually went to a Greek company, is now the Aegean myth. Thank you, Quaxon. I keep getting confused with um, the four ships that were sold in pairs, but I appreciate that. I knew I, was, I knew I wasn't 100% sure on my answer, but thank you. Oh, thank you, Quaxon said, very regal, love the, love the vintage camera. Aw, thank you guys so much. You're so sweet. Yes, John, it was definitely a princess ship. It had that look about it. Um, I know Melissa, it doesn't look like me cause it was a long time ago. And when I, when I wear my hair dark, I just don't feel like myself. It, it just makes me look so different. Um, my paternal grandmother who passed away right at the end of my high school years, she had dark hair and I have a lot of her features. I have her body shape, kind of the lack of eyelashes. Um, and just, there's a lot of similarities. And when I wear my hair dark, the only thing I like about my hair is that I see my face in her. I, I feel like I look like that, my grandmother who passed away. And so I kind of like that. It's neat. I feel connected to her in a weird way. Um, but otherwise I don't feel like myself. So I always have, I always bring the blonde back. It always comes back. Um, Mary Ellen Dillon said, how could you tell it's princess? It just has this distinct, there's like this particular kind of wood and um, upholstery that they use in most of their dining rooms, and it's very consistent across the fleet, Mary Ellen. So that might be how some people kind of, how some people kind of figured that out. All right, you guys, this was fun. Um, it's Friday night. Junior probably wants pizza, but I have two filet mignons or three filet mignons in the fridge, so I might be able to talk him into grilling some steak. Looking outside. There's still a little bit of daylight. We could probably get those filet mignons on the grill. But I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend. Next week is our last week of Vlogtoberfest. We will be live making the apple cider margarita on Wednesday, and we will be live on Friday night, next Friday. So a week from tonight, we're doing a Halloween slash Sherry's birthday celebration, and it'll be our last event of Vlogtoberfest. So come back next Friday, come back next Wednesday. Our programming for next week is a little bit up in the air. We had designed the episodes to be all about the future of cruising, um, but our intention was to wait until the very last minute to write the episodes because of the fact that everything's evolving so quickly in the cruise industry. So we're probably going to literally write and record the episodes based on the future of cruising, based on the knowledge that we have now to put out some good information and some tips and you'll just have to wait and see what that looks like because we are, we've been discussing it all week as a family and trying to deliver the best information that we possibly can with limited information. Steve and Shannon, 
Happy upcoming anniversary. I just saw that. That's right. Angelique, you are so welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Go have yourselves a wonderful weekend. We'll see you next Wednesday. And until then, see you on the high seas. Cruise your own week. Hey, click me to subscribe.